Let's get a look at the forecast for Wednesday. Really just a beautiful day today. Very comfortable out there. I mean, it's a little cool, but it's tolerable. And uh, you're also tracking the storm down off the coast of Florida. Now, Nicole here expected to make landfall in Florida as Category 1 hurricane tonight. Okay. So we've got our eye on that right now. Sunshine and quiet as can be at the Narragansett shoreline as we take a look at the town beach there. Not a cloud in the sky. Our threat tracker in the green for today and Thursday. Do want to give you a heads up about Friday as we continue on our Veterans Day to watch some late day rain and it does look like a stormy night Friday night, but a fast moving system system as it races by and out of here early Saturday. It was a chilly start this morning. Coldest morning of the work week 30 to 35 for overnight lows. Now we're back to near 50 in Providence, Newport and Westerly and 48 in Smithfield, a little milder in southeastern Massachusetts. Winds are light today, adding to that comfortable feel if you're out and about. Temperature is going to be topping out right around the lower to middle 50s then falling into the 40s once the sun sets this evening and from there it'll drop down to around the upper 30s by dawn tomorrow morning. On our live radar, quiet high pressure and control that high going to start to slide to the south and east and allow and help to steer Nicole over the northern Bahamas and towards the southeast coast of Florida again later today and tonight. So uh, going to expect to see the conditions deteriorating along the east coast of Florida. You can see those bands of rain coming on shore. This system's moving west with 70 mile an hour sustained winds right now, and we're already seeing some gusts over 40 along the east coast of Florida near Melbourne Beach. Let's take a look that wind radii with this storm very large, so you can see that wind field here of tropical storm force winds tonight encompassing most of Florida. Category one hurricane, the forecast at landfall in the middle of the night, then crossing over to the west side of Florida. This is during the day Thursday and Thursday evening. It's expected to transition over to a tropical depression and then a post tropical system will get caught up with a frontal system and the remnants of it will race northward. So here's what we're looking at in terms of the timing for our area. We hold on to sunshine for tomorrow. Clouds on the increase for Thursday night and Friday and it's not until late in the day and even more so after the sun goes down Friday that we start to see the rain and increasing winds. The stormiest part overnight on Friday night. By Saturday, it's racing out of here and could be back to sunshine by midday on Saturday. As for tonight, it's clear. Again, temperatures down to about 38 degrees. After a chilly start tomorrow morning, a noticeably turn to the milder. We'll be back to the low and mid 60s for Thursday afternoon and even warmer for Veterans Day. Right now, still holding on to dry conditions for parades or ceremonies on Friday morning with rain chances going up late in the day. As far as the peak here, we could see some gusts in the range of 40 to 55 miles per hour. Rainfall amounts were on the windy side of the system and not necessarily the rainier side. So we're thinking rainfall totals should peak at about an inch or two and we could get some minor coastal flooding or minor beach erosion as that moves through on Friday night. So as for the weekend, we've got temperatures in the upper 60s on Saturday, Sunday, a brief shower in the afternoon and much cooler.